Yeah, it's her KD. I apologize. It fell Get out. Get on your knees, put your hands behind your back. Yeah. Sir? Sir? What the f are you Sir? doing? Sir? Sir? Jeremiah Payne. On December 11th, 2022, a family walked through a neighborhood in Springfield, Tennessee, experiencing an event that raised serious questions about police conduct and community trust. Jeremiah Payne, his wife, and their five-year-old daughter were simply enjoying an evening stroll when a small mishap led to a significant confrontation. As they walked, their daughter accidentally dropped a bag of candy near the home of Detective William Thor, who worked for the Metro Nashville Police Department but was off duty at the time. Detective Thor, seeing the dropped item and thinking it was trash, approached the family with his badge displayed, asking them to pick it up. Yeah, it's her candy. I apologize. It fell Get out. Get on your knees. Put your hands behind your back. What? Sir? Sir? What the f are you Sir? doing? Sir? 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 Let go of my phone, man. Sam! Hey, take my phone. Hey. What are you doing? Hey, what we're home. Get, Get back. Get back. Me. Get hey, back. we're homeless. You ain't a cop, man. And we're just walking. Show me your back. We're just walking the car. What the f***? And I didn't do nothing. All I did was f*** your name. Am I going to have a problem with you? No. Hi, Daddy! You smashed my f***. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Can we please just walk off? Can you please let me? Oh, no, stop, stop, stop. No, stop. Get the stop. Me. Stop. Stop. Give me my phone. Give me my Take phone. phone. Take your phone. Please Listen stop. to me. We're just trying to watch the car. What the f is wrong with you, dude? Come right. on, let's just go. Stop, don't go. Stop. Stop. Look, we're just trying to watch the car. I'm not being detained by you. Yes, we're just trying to watch the car. Get out of the roads, your kid doesn't get hit. We're just trying to watch the car. Guys, guys, please. We're just trying to. You assaulted me, dude, and it's on video. Sock. No. You tried that. Okay. I don't Call the cops. They're not going to do nothing. After the family complied and picked up the candy, Jeremiah, wanting to know more about the person who had just confronted them, asked the detective for his name and badge number. This is a common request people make to ensure accountability when they feel a police officer has overstepped. However, this question seemed to escalate the situation. He told the police that he needed help because the situation was getting out of control. Because I didn't do nothing wrong. You assaulted me. I need an officer at 400. Yes, I was assaulted. Okay. I don't, I don't want your dad to go jail either, so stop. Have, uh, Get in the buggy. Come on. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. See what you're doing to my daughter, dude? I'm you tired piece of shit. We're just trying to watch a car. It's been very disruptive. Oh, because I've, he just oh, attacked come me. Come here. I want my dad. I have it on video. Stay out of here. Jermon, stop. Jermon, just stop. It's not worth it. Let's just go. My name's William. Oh, my God. William is his name. I'm just trying to watch the girl go. Okay. Get the f away from me. Stay away from me. I would just like to watch the girl No, we're leaving. No, 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 you're not you, going to. You're anywhere. not a cop to detain me. for the police officer. You, you are not a cop. Hey, he's trying to kidnap me. Help. Yeah, Help. He's trying to say I'm trying to kidnap him now. He's trying to hold me against my will. Get, come on. Walk now. Walk now. Walk now! You ain't married to him, you married to me. You better come on. Sir, sir, we're not gonna do it. You're not gonna turn this into a domestic situation. You're a tired if you're a cop. He identified as a cop, so if he's not really a cop, this dude pretended to be a cop. Let my daddy go to jail. We don't want your daddy to go to jail either. He's acting a little strange. Really? You just attacked me! Sir, you're starting to scare me and you're making me nervous. You just attacked me! Yeah, you're lucky you didn't get shot, dude. I haven't seen any weapons. They're homeless. No, we that don't mean I don't have weapons. We don't have All right, any well, weapons. Now he's threatening me. Well, he's saying he has a weapon. No, I didn't threaten you. It's on video, you liar. No, we don't have I said because I'm homeless don't mean I don't have weapons. Well, he, didn't say, he didn't say he had a weapon. He said because I'm homeless doesn't mean I don't have a weapon. In Tennessee, the law says that assault happens when someone intentionally or recklessly causes injury or fear of injury. <laughs> I live in this house right here, mm -hmm. off-duty metro. They, they're coming through and they threw trash in another person's yard and they threw trash in my yard. So I, I confronted him. Mm -hmm. I was actually being really nice to him and his wife and asked him to just pick it up and go. And then he starts filming me and yelling at me. So I approached him and we got in a little tussle. It's all on just, video, just, don't lie because they're going to see it. It's all on video. And now it, it just got to a point where I was like, I got to call you guys out here. So mm -hmm. that's where we are.
for review. I don't want to prosecute or anything like that. I really just wanted to leave, but I like, wanted to get to the point of like us doing this. I've been trying to talk with him. I haven't had a whole lot of luck. Yeah. Yeah, he's just homeless and yeah. you know, disadvantaged. Yeah, and I pull out my phone and ask him his name your badge number and he's fucking attacked. That's, that's what we are. It's, it's like, I ain't trying to turn this into like a YouTube thing or, you know, whatever. He seems like a good guy. He's got, what's that? It's funny. Well, you're about to be famous, okay. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Ask them, they know who that's I am. He does. Mm -hmm. Right. You f***ed up. What's he do? Do the wrong one to the Is it like a website they use or something? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, it is what it is. Just let him do it. But, you know, just kind of want to let him go. And just been on my life. Alright. Alright. If you want to yeah. go back in your driveway, I'll talk yeah. to him. Yeah. Alright. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Yep. Yeah. The detective's actions caught on the family's phone camera could be seen as an assault because they were forceful and unnecessary. <laughs> All because I pulled my phone out and asked him he, for his he, name and badge like, number. I'm not joking. And he you can see on the video, he charges at me, throws me to the ground. He right said there you're in under arrest. Driveway. I'm putting you in handcuffs. And through my I phone. Had him on, yeah. Yeah. Had me. He I had his knee in my throat. Bag of candy. Because we were. Dude, he walking, had his knee in my Kroger. throat. One, hold on, one at a time, okay? Sorry. sorry. We're no, you're walking fine. to Kroger, and I accidentally dropped Skyler's candy. He thought I dropped her trash in his like out of the edge of the camera. Out, and I said, no, I'm sorry. It's actually her bag of candy. I didn't mean to drop it. So I picked it up and he said, okay. Well, the next time, it, I don't know. It just kind of went from one thing to the I next. Because he identified know, he as a cop. So ground. I said, so what is your name and badge number if you're mm -hmm. a cop? And uh, that's when he pulled out something out of his pocket. I guess it's that badge he's holding. Mm -hmm. And well, ran towards me, badger. threw I mean, me down on the ground, yeah, maybe put, rough, I don't know. put his knee in my throat, yeah. literally had me down on the ground. Yeah, that is true. All like, because I, I asked for his name and badge number. Yeah, I didn't pin, said he was going to have him arrested and take him to jail, and I'm like, ah, So I want to press what? charges on him. This action could be seen as false imprisonment, which is when someone is held against their will without a valid reason. It might also be seen as official misconduct, where an officer uses their power in a way that is not right or legal. I have it on video. Is he really a Would you like to see it? And I don't think you can... Yes, sir. I don't know if you can really arrest him. I, I, you should put your hands on Just because he's a cop, he don't have qualified immunity. Yes, Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> All over a bag of candy that I picked up that I did I not mean to drop. Hat. And I even apologized that I dropped it. Yeah. I didn't even know I dropped it. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to we were just trying to cut through and walk to Kroger. Yeah. We're just going to Kroger. Yeah, yes. we were coming from Walmart. I'm just trying to go Mom, to the grocery store. I had to get something to drink and then Oh yeah, I had to get something to drink and I dropped the bag of candy. That's here. This escalated into a physical altercation that took place not on private property, but in the street, all captured on Jeremiah's video. The video clearly showed Thorgood attempting to detain Jeremiah forcefully, despite the latter having already picked up the dropped candy. You're Hold heavy. on, my Bluetooth is on. You're really heavy, sorry. Sorry, sorry I mean, I'm kind of shaky because I was just, Not you know, excitement, I swear. You're fine, you don't have to apologize. Okay. Stand over here. If you guys want to grab your stuff, okay. you can bring it over here. Oh, just a second, okay. okay. I do want to press charge. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. He's got the whole thing on video. Oh, boy. Jeremiah was in the street. He came over and said, put your hands behind your back. You can see his phone get tossed. And he it. It's recorded. We're going to do a report for him because he's asking oh, yeah. for it. Right. But he, And I do believe he, he's probably going to go get a warrant on him. I'm sure. Okay. 742, signal 14. No, I know because it's on video, but this is what Jeremiah does. And that's what he's, this is exactly what he's been trying to do. Yeah. And this guy let him do it. Well, well Yes he, yes, he does. <laughs> He's a cop. These guys weren't on his property at the time that he just attacked them. Uh, I don't blame him. I, listen, <laughs> regardless, if you're being recorded, it's probably going to go somewhere. And they weren't on your property when you just attacked them. They had left. That's what I want my mouth. I'm going to get out of here. The footage sparked a community discussion and was critical in evaluating Thorgood's use of authority. 
was trying to detain him and arrest him because yes. I asked him to leave. I guess he saw the video. I just didn't have cuffs on me to put on them, so I just said, all right, I'm going to pop up, and that's when I called 911. Yes, sir. So. Um, so, can you go back to the beginning? I know you said you saw him walking so he was here. Had a oh, on, on the corner house, pushed the cart around here. I was in my kitchen area. Mm -hmm. I threw a giant Hello. bag of trash right here in my front yard. So I came out and said, hey, guys, police, I need you to pick up the trash, and I need you to leave the neighborhood. She came over and they gave me a bunch of, of, of lip, so that's when I, I showed my badge and I said, guys, I'm police, I need you to get out. That's when he started filming me and you guys picked up from there with, with the video. So, I'd like to charge him or prosecute him at this point if he wants to make a deal, but I really just wanted to leave the neighborhood. Well, they're allowed to be walking on the public road. I mean, yeah. It's not like a gated community. Yeah, but it's, it's littering is a crime too. I mean, yeah, I know. He's homeless, he gets his right, but... Thorgood, realizing the implications of his actions being recorded, later approached Jeremiah to apologize for the incident, particularly for the distress it caused in front of Jeremiah's child. Despite the apology, the situation complicated further when Jeremiah claimed that Thorgood offered him $80 to keep the video private, a claim Thorgood initially denied. Officer Thorgood confronts his actions in a rare moment of introspection. Standing before Jeremiah, whose only crime was accidentally dropping a candy wrapper, Thorgood Thorgood struggles with the weight of his authority and the consequences of its misuse. Thorgood's attempt to explain his reaction reveals the complexity of his internal conflict. Okay. Jeremiah. Is that your name? Mm-hmm. Okay. Detective William Thorgood with Metro Police. Okay? Mm-hmm. Alright. I'm not trying to hurt you. Don't want to scare you. I'm really sorry for the confrontation I had in front of your child. Okay? I feel really bad about that. And I just want to apologize to you. So I am sorry for upsetting your kid, especially around the holiday season. So Yeah, because she's never going to forget that now, and she's going to look at cops as pieces of shit because of you. You're absolutely right. I'm taking that into consideration. Apologize to you. I try to teach my kid that not all cops are bad. There are good cops, and then yeah, you yeah, come I'm out and do shit like that. i to be a good one, so I, please just hear me out, okay, Jeremiah? All me. right, can you hear me out? I hear yeah. you. All right. Let me just swallow my pride here and say I apologize for upsetting you and your family, okay? Thank you. That, 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 that's what I was Would you like the nugget? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not going to take for you guys during the holidays. I'm going to go season, get him okay? the nugget. So, I'll try to be man enough and apologize, which is a hard thing for cops to do. Mm -hmm. And I just hope that, you know, you'll you man enough and accept my apology. It's okay? hard thing for I just really didn't like the litter in my yard. That's yeah, all. It, that, that's all. She didn't mean to drop it, but to it really go to that extent, because I pulled out my phone and asked you for your name and badge number, really? Come on now. That, 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 that's being, no, I, I, I get that. No, he's right. No, but on, that's being a tyrant. Jeremiah, listen to me. You Do you me? not agree with that? 100%, you're right, and I apologize. And I want you to understand how hard it is for me to... Oh, I know how hard it is for cops. I know, I'm a first amendment auditor, I know. Okay. Thorgood self-reported and was placed under investigation. Mr. Payne went to the ADA's office to pursue charges, but a grand jury declined to indict Thorgood on two felony assault charges. Mr. Payne now plans to take civil legal action. As we wrap up today's case, it's clear that even a simple misunderstanding can escalate into a significant event when authority is misused. What do you think about how this situation was handled? Share your thoughts and cases in the comments below. Thank you for watching.